Hi, my name is Adam Flynn, and I am a training specialist with our IT marketing department. In today's training video, we will be discussing the new functionality that is companion policies. We'll discuss how to link policies, how to unlink policies, where you can link units, and transfer data. With that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at our first policy you're going to be working with. I'm going to be utilizing the MPCI search button here in the upper left hand corner to key in our policy number. Once we have our policy number, we can either double click on the text or select enter. To begin, we first need to click the companion button found underneath the home tab of policy editor. When clicked, a pop-up box will appear where we can begin to link our policy, which will then provide the additional options that are found within the companion policies pop-up box. First, let's go ahead and click link policy. When doing so, we'll be provided the same MPCI policy lookup screen we've used before in the past where we can simply key in our policy number we'd like to link. Once we've selected our policy, we'll be asked to add a note in regards to linking these two policies. Simply select Save and then close. Now we have two policies that are linked and ready to begin linking units, transferring data, importing data, and along with other features found within the companion policies. Starting with remove link. Selecting the remove link option will remove the link we had just created for these two policies. First we'll need to add a note again annotating the uh, unlink of the two policies. Select save and then close and you'll see the previous companion policy that was linked is no longer being displayed in the grid below. For demonstration purposes I went ahead and relinked our two policies so that we can begin to use our options found within the companion policies pop-up box. Starting with our unit links. Clicking this button will bring us to a new screen titled companion policies dash units where we can begin to link our units between one policy to the other. To begin, we first need to edit our unit link screen. Doing so will change that button to a commit, which we'll then use when we're done linking our units. Next, we'll need to go down to the bottom grid titled Unlinked Units. This will provide all applicable units that can be linked that are currently unlinked between the two companion policies. From here, you can either select the Auto Link Units, which will auto link any available units and annotate those with a green paint chip. You'll notice that we have one unit that currently does not have a green paint chip but we'd like to link this unit as well. So in order to do this we'll first need to select or highlight that unit and then manually link this unit. Again you'll see we now have that link unit button available to us. So let's go ahead and click that now. A new pop-up box will appear. You can see there's our unit once again. So I'm going to select that highlighted in blue to show you that you are in fact clicking this unit and then I'm going to select link unit. Doing so as you can see now provides that green paint chip showing me that all four units two corn two soybeans are ready to be linked between the two policies. Next we need to go ahead and select save which will bring those four units from our unlinked units grid up to our linked units grid. and You can see that also changed that from a green paint chip to a pink paint chip uh, showing that these units are now linked. Simply select commit and these changes will have been saved between Jane Doe and John Doe. Now that we have units that are linked between the two companion policies we're ready to begin transferring data. Let's click the transfer data button which will again bring us to a new screen this time titled companion policies dash transfer data where we can begin to either transfer acreage or production information between the two companion policies. In this case since we do not have acres reported yet we can only transfer production information. As you can see all four units are currently selected to be transferred over from uh, John Doe to Jane Doe. Doing so, we simply need to select the transfer data button found in the upper left hand corner, which will then bring over the companion policy, in this case Jane Doe, or also known as the destination policy, as the John Doe policy is titled 
the source policy where we could review the production that was transferred over again showing that each unit has companions, companion data that was transferred over if everything looks correct we would simply need to select save and then commit once those changes have been saved we are brought back to our John Doe policy or in this case the source policy now that we've transferred data let's take a look at our import data which works nearly the same except for when we transfer data we are pushing information out to the destination policy with the import data option we're now bringing in information to our source policy so in this case we're still working within our John Doe policy we're going to select the import data and you'll see down below I have a new unit that I can import into John Doe's policy so let's go ahead and select the checkbox on the left hand side of the unit you'll see as we did that the import data button became available to us I do want to bring to your attention we also have the ability to transfer acreage or APH if we'd like to in this case I don't want to because I know there is none since this is a new unit so I'm just going to go ahead and select import data it'll bring me to our new unit which you can see is a uh, slightly different text and is bold just bringing to our attention which unit is new if everything looks correct again we'll simply select save and then commit we'll go through the same commit process as before and that is how you import data from the companion policy and finally the last option available within the companion policy pop-up box is the select source option when this is selected we will bring up our normal MPCI policy lookup where we can key in a companion policy number to utilize as their new source so I'm going to key in our same Jane Doe policy and you'll see instead of Jane Doe being listed under the companion policy destination grid Jane is now currently selected as our source Again, just to uh, show this, I'm going to rekey in our John Doe policy. Now we see Jane Doe, again listed under our destination grid, where John Doe is la located under our source information. And to show the final functionality that was included in the Companion Policies project, I am actually going to leave the Companion Policies pop up box that you see here and we're going to go ahead and open up John Doe's policy for endorsement and I'm going to make a small change I'm actually just going to add a unit very quickly and the reason I'm doing this is because I want to receive a pop-up box once we have keyed in changes for John Doe's policy so the information you're seeing here is irrelevant it is merely to change something on one companion policy in order to get this change to apply to the linked Jane Doe policy so you saw I selected save and now I'm going to go ahead and hit commit so we've added a new unit of corn this is just a normal pop-up screen saying that the acreage has not been finished that's okay I'm going to commit like normal but you'll now see this new pop-up box for any policy that's linked with another asking do you want to transfer data to the companion policy this pop-up box will only appear when a change has been made to one of the two linked policies so if we hit yes we'll be brought back to our normal companion policies pop-up box where we would just select our transfer data button like before we'd follow the same directions we covered earlier on in the training webinar and that completes the functionality for companion policies. I wanted to quickly just say thank you for taking some time to view the video. If you do have any additional questions, please feel free to contact your marketing rep or underwriter, or you can reach us at itmarketing at naucountry.com. Thank you again, and have a great rest of the day.